Hi lovely Sagittarians, this is Jenny from Joy Energy Tarot. This is your intuitive guided reading for the month of August and I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. You guys start off with the Ace of Swords. So you're overcoming all sorts of challenges and you're victorious and you're coming up with a new plan and a new idea. You've um, been through a lot. You can now, you've got the key to ancient knowledge. You have actually overcome past life karmic things as well. This is like really, really good. You're coming up with new ideas and new plans now um, in the first, approximately the first week of August. And I feel that you, you're dealing with, you could be dealing with a lawyer or somebody, a teacher, someone who's very, very knowledgeable. This can be yourself as well. This person can cut through any BS. They don't get their emotions involved and they can see very, very clearly. So this is either you or someone around you that you can get good advice from because you're overthinking everything and you're worrying about something. You're, you're trying to make this decision and um, it's making you worried. You're waking up in the night and you're thinking it and you're overthinking it. So there's something that you're going through at the moment. But you've got the Ace of Swords. So I feel that you're going to come up with a new idea and a new plan to help you stop thinking about it. Or this new plan is exciting and you are overthinking about it. Um, actually, oh, so I've just asked for a clarifier for, from, for, oh my goodness. It's going to be, oh wow, there's a big story going on here. Um, so you're overthinking it in this new plan. You've got the magician. Uh, you can make things happen. You do a lot of. Com there'll be a lot of communicating coming through, but you will be able to talk them into your way of thinking. Have faith. You're very, very wise. Tap into your ethereal knowledge. Working with your angels, your ancestors, as well as the physical world. You're very wise. Don't underestimate your own knowledge. It's a new beginning. Jump in and go for it and use your intuition. This is where you're weighing up your options. You're ready now for this next journey in life. Then we go on to the second week, Nine of Pentacles. You can do things on your own. You've got the ability or the money, or whatever it is, to do things on your own if you're worried and you're, and you're um, scared of doing something on your own. Even if you're in a relationship, you've got the ability to do things on your own. It could be a new side business or something. But you're feeling quite trapped. You've actually, that second week, you've, got, you've trapped yourself. You've earned your angel wings. You're in a little cage. The, the lid's open, but you can't see it you've trapped yourself with your own thinking because you are overthinking everything um and worrying about if you've got that nine of swords and the eight of swords it's all about and you're in your head so while you're like that i would suggest you write down the pros and cons of all your choices to get it out of your head because this is stinking thinking you're holding yourself back you've got your guard up you're protecting yourself um and you're not being able to see things clearly because you're thinking about the past or looking into the past. And this too is also about four of pentacles is about being stuck too. This is where you've padlocked yourself away. You've got your own security. You like where you are, what you're doing. Um, you're stable, but you can't break free. And this is about um, getting out there, going and doing things. This is a boring card where you're stuck in what you're doing. Um, you're too scared to move forward. Then you've got the Knight of Cups, an offer um, comes in. This is about following your heart. There's an offer or an invitation coming in given with love. And this is that uh, you, it's time to follow your heart and work out really what it is that makes your heart sing. And then you've got justice. So you've got, to, you've got a lot of major arcana comes, cards here. This is an important month for you guys. This is where justice, legal papers, contracts, things like that, weighing up your options, but the truth will come out. This is about seeking the truth. Again, it's cutting through BS. If you're not signing papers or dealing with something legal, this is where what have, what you've been putting out will now come back to you and you'll get the balance back in your life. You'll have to be patient. This is again, you've got all these, the, the high priestess, the justice and the temperance are all about weighing up options, getting the balance back in your life. The temperance card is about Again, you're surrounded by love. Love is coming from above, from your angels, from your ancestors. But you'll have to be a bit patient. Things are taking a bit longer than what you want. And then by the end of the month or the last week, you've got the four of wands. So this is like blessings from above, happy marriages to give you the freedom to make choices. This is like a double 11. So for those of you not in a relationship, 
This is about having everything at home and at work balanced and ticking along fine. It's it's blessings, blessings for relationships and work and home. And then you've got the two of wands, so it's like one foot in the old world, one foot in the new world, trying to make up your mind. But you know, you don't want to change. You're wanting to move. You're wanting to move forward, but something's holding you back all the time. The world your oyster. You're looking up to the moon and the stars for guidance, and the moon is about breaking through any illusions you've got about a situation. And then something's going to come along out of the blue and shake everything up. Or well, something's going to happen very quickly. But I feel it's good because I asked for a clarifier and it's the two of cups. So this can be if you're in a relationship, your communication is working better. You're going to the next level. If you're looking for love, this is your soulmate. If it's not that, this is where you are doing work on yourself, believing in yourself. But you're learning. The whole situation is about learning. And then you've got covering that whole reading, the beginning, Ace of Wands, learning something new. Could be the beginning of a new job, a new project, something physical. You've got something new and it's going to really help you grow. But you've got a separation there and that sort of upsets you. You're either carrying old hurt from the past or you're um, carrying sadness or you've got a decision to make. And one of these is going to involve a separation of some sort. And it's... But it's going to bring about the ending of that overthinking, that worrying. That's going to be that once that decision's been made, that the worrying will stop. That situation is dead, done, dusted, finished, over. You will be feeling overwhelmed emotionally, though. This is like focus on one goal, one thing at a time. And it doesn't matter what path you take, you will always be led to be on the right path that you're supposed to be on. So this is where you're feeling really overwhelmed emotionally. So you could either write down your choices. Sevens are all about learning, and it's sometimes for some people you've got fears of change, false emotion appearing real. So focusing on one goal or one thing at a time will make you feel a lot better. And then there's information coming in too. This comes in slow and steady, and this is the night of um, pentacles. This is all about you're going to be learning things. It's going to help you grow. Your life is going to be growing, but it's coming in slowly. The changes are coming in slowly. You're moving forward slowly. Actually, almost stagnant at, the, at that time. But then to do, I think these two are two separate things because I keep going. You're going to be dealing with somebody in power or it could be a government department. Um, this is somebody who's quite strong. They can get, they um, are quite brave. This is like the Aries card. Now, this can be you, where you are now taking control of your life. You're learning to delegate your manning up. You're feeling it's not a man, though, but you're strengthening up. You're stronger. You're braver. You're taking control of what you want to do. And this is going to bring about joy and happiness. So you're either dealing with somebody in power or you are feeling stronger in power and you're going to be feeling a lot lot happier for where you are at now your angel messages for for or ancestor message for the month is the shaman you have got the shaman which and i'm going to read these out in another video um, and give you more information trust in the higher forces and so this is about trusting um, in other things so trust in your angels your guides and your ancestors if you've given your power away claim it back and you've got dreams. Get your dreams and desires in order. Only when you decide what you really want in life can you take the steps to make it happen. Okay, lovelies. And I'll make another video to read the shaman information more fully. Okay, lovelies, have a wonderful, wonderful August. And all the best with whatever it is that you're going through. See you all again. Ka kiri anō. Bye.